Hey baby, it's been a long time since I've been talking to you. Maybe it's time you and me got back together and discussed all those things we missed. You, me, my heart, my graffiti, everything that I adore. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, all right guys, so we're back. We just finished a character video and I feel like we gotta do a double feature, a two for deucer deucer, and uh, we're gonna be painting another dude with the guy we painted yesterday or today, but the video would be yesterday. You get the one I'm saying. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna have some fun doing some graffiti, showing some basics, because I know you have the skills, it's in your heart, it's in your mind. You just gotta free it, you gotta free it out from sight. And then, and then, you will be a character masterpiece. I got a can of white, and I like to use white in the videos because it's uh, it makes it very contrasty and you can see what I'm doing. Generally when I'm doing characters, I don't outline them in white. I actually usually use transparent black when I do it. That's my tip to you because you, you can see it while you're painting and it doesn't really affect the imagery that you're doing. But for the sake of video, we're gonna use white. Of course, I did this, uh, this handsome Latin fellow yesterday. Today we're gonna do his homie. So start with uh, a box you will like that maybe this guy will be a profile should we do a profile of this one I think so we'll do a profile so we'll do a shape like that we'll do a shape like that we'll do a hat like that we'll do an ear somewhere over here maybe, maybe the hats a little low but whatever it don't matter as you see, I do it very loosely. The whole point is to do it extremely loosely. All right. That's that there. All right. And then he's going to have an eye. Like that. Yeah. Looking good. First, I realized I don't want that like that. I want it like this. Back to the telly. Back to the hotel. Back to the telly. All right, so let's go ahead and fill in this Caucasian man here. These guys are good homies. They've been crew since high school. You know how it goes. Two friends go out and paint, start a crew, crush the world. Fill that in like that. Good, looking good, keeping it basic. So I got a can of shock blue. I think I'm gonna do his hat that color. Of course he's hip hop, so he's got a humongous hat. The bigger the hat, the better. Beauty, eh? Let's go ahead and do a shirt. So I got some of this uh, light orange in the Molotov covers all line. I'm gonna do a shirt with that color. I'm gonna go ahead and just start filling it in. This light orange is a very well covering shade of orange, but um, still not convinced it's a covers all product. So somebody illuminate me, please. All right. Go ahead and fill that in. See, the orange does fill in nicely. But again, I just, I just don't get it why they called this covers all.
going to let that set and use a fat cap next. I think what this needs. There we go. This can was bent to run with the fat cap. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're getting the cover you need. Oh yeah, much better. Much, much better. All right, so that's that's filled in. Let's go ahead and do his hair. This guy doesn't have a rat tail. He's just gonna have a little 80s hip hop mullet. <laughs> there we go, that's good. Like all hip hop characters, you need a stiff lower lip and a strong jaw. Just like that. And a really aggressive looking eye. Cause you're a tough guy, hip hop guy. You could fill that in with white, but I think I'm just gonna leave it as is, doing most basic as possible. I wanna show you guys the basics. All right, let's outline his hat. Dot up there. Of course, it's a snapback because I love snapbacks. All right, sick. So let's go ahead and move to his arms. And just like in the last video, to keep it simple, I'm doing the crossed arms thing like before. It's just very easy to do. Wait, where was I going with that one? There we go. That's the hand right there. Again, don't worry about it being perfect. These are hip hop characters. All right, let me just fix up these lines. I just wanted to make sure that you guys could see that there's a, a shadow right here. Like that. feeling a little bit more here. I think the ear needs to be bigger. Just make sure my colors are coming out nice and thick. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Oh, almost forgot. Got to make it really 80s. <laughs> Looking good in the hood, baby. Looking good in the hood. Um, let me just do a little dot here. I don't like those white things poking out. Yeah, there we go. That one's just going under the shirt, right? That's supposed to be covered in this. That's why it looked weird to me. Because that was supposed to be covering that. That's right. I knew I forgot something. Perfect. Good enough. All right, sick. So we just did a basic character very quickly just using shapes, you know, just box it out. Give him a strong jaw, give him a strong upper lip, give him the cool guy stare, a big fat hat, 80s haircut, got your arms crossed, that way you don't have to draw the hands, because I know drawing hands is hard, guys. I know it, I know it. Just cross the arms, then you don't have to draw them. Just draw a little, little hot dog sticking out the end like that. 
Um, of course, we did the big background splash in the last video, showing you how you can use all your scrap paint to get a, uh, a nice cohesive graffiti-esque background to apply your characters or your pieces on. This is the best way to use your scrap paint. Get rid of those cans, get them recycled, get them out, and get something new. But, um, but that's pretty much it. We painted these in, in short order. We're done. It's time for me to go get some lunch. And uh, I just, again, I want to say thank you for watching our videos. I want to say thank you for subscribing to our channel. My goal is to get to 100,000 followers by the end of the year, and I think it's an attainable goal. With your help, we will get there. And again, always, 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 when you need graph supplies, you call Art Primo. Shit, you can call me, 206-365-4083. Call and ask for me. If I'm not there, they'll send me a message. I'll call you back. I am here to help you be excited to learn, to be passionate about your art, and everything that you do in your life. Because remember, you have one life. One life. Use it wisely. Thank you very much.